So Deadpool 2 is very much coming out at the end of May. And of course, this movie is still going through the final rough cuts where they're just touching up the scenes and doing the final last few adjustments before it's officially the complete version. Now, of course, Deadpool in about a year and a half, two years from now, is going to be property of Disney when the whole acquisition goes through. And of course, things are going to change for the character, but as it turns out, things are already changing for the character in Deadpool 2 due to Disney's requests. So as many of you have probably noted and remember, there is a direct reference to Thanos that is made in the Deadpool trailer. Well, Disney went to Fox and they talked about this, and the decision was made between both of them to actually remove that scene from the movie. Ryan Reynolds talks about this and he says he could probably get in trouble for this, but it was at the request of Disney that it was pretty much a thing that had to be removed. And Ryan Reynolds even says he agrees with this. And looking back at it, he thinks it's a wise decision that this scene was removed. Now, of course, I think many people will be mad at this, but here's how I see this, right? It's one thing that they're doing because they've already confirmed that, hey, look, the moment we acquire these characters from Fox, they're going to be joining the MCU. And Deadpool was specifically named and singled out being like, oh, no, Deadpool's going to interact with all the characters you've seen so far. So this is a big thing. Having Deadpool openly call out one of its characters, who's played by an actor who plays another character, is sort of this weird... It's breaking the fourth wall almost in a way that I don't think they want in there. And this certainly makes sense when you really think about it, right? I mean, just... It, it kind of makes me mad, but at the same time, I don't fault them because, you know, it is Josh Brolin, it is Thanos, he is Cable, and it'd just be a little bit weird if Deadpool is the one, you know, pointing out inevitably and eventually that it's like, oh, there's a similarity between those two, and I don't want any of that. And this already shows you that Disney, despite not working with Fox and not already having them acquired, can have their voice heard. So, what else might have they requested?